Hi guys, how's it going? So today we're talking about whether you should purchase the Oculus Quest 2 or whether you should purchase the HP Reverb G2 in 2021. A big welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and also where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment. Thank you very much for joining the channel. If it's your first time here, very nice to meet you. And a huge welcome back, of course, to all our regular subscribers. Thank you for your continued support. So both VR headsets have been out now for quite a few months. Which one of these two is it best to buy in the year of 2021? Would you go for the Oculus Quest 2 or should you go for the HP Reverb G2? Well, Let's debate. The first question you need to ask yourself is why do you want to be in VR in the first place? Is it because you want to do some VR fitness and beat those calories and get more fit? Or do you want to perhaps just be a casual gamer and play wherever you want and have portability? Or do you really want to have the best optimum graphical experience so you can have the best immersion as you possibly can whilst you're in virtual reality? The best graphics without a doubt go for the HP Reverb G2. If you want to have the best volumetrics, for example, fog and special effects and all these kind of things, then PC VR is really what's going to offer you the ultimate experience. However, let's not forget that the Oculus Quest does have an accessory called the Link Cable, which enables you to tie up your Oculus Quest device, which is wireless to a PC VR, so you can also experience some very decent graphics on your PC. If portability is something that's more important to you, because for example, you want to do some VR fitness and beat those calories and stay fit, then definitely the Oculus Quest will be much better for those kind of experiences. This is simply because when you have a cable running from the computer to your VR headset, it can hinder the experience and also somewhat make it unsafe. For example, if you're gonna be playing some Racket NX, which enables you to be able to smash the ball as fast as possible in a 360 degrees environment, or Beat Saber 360 also provides this kind of experience. Now, if you want something really cheap and you want to save some money because you're not really bothered about having the best graphic experiences in VR, then of course the Oculus Quest is super cheap when it's available. Of course, when it's not available, the prices can go two times or three times higher, which can ultimately make the HP Reverb G2 cheaper when it's unavailable, of course, as I just mentioned. Otherwise, generally speaking, the Oculus Quest 2 is priced from 299, but don't forget that you will need to buy an elite strap or some kind of accessory for comfort because the Oculus Quest 2 is certainly not the most comfortable when compared to the HP Reverb G2. The HP Reverb G2 is super light simply because it doesn't need all this processing power to render all the information into the headset and also doesn't have any batteries to keep it going. So the HP Reverb G2 compared to the Oculus Quest is a super feather light. If we dive in more in terms of comfort for the HP Reverb G2, it's extremely comfortable because it has the valve index designed facial interface and the strap also is extremely steady, which again comes from the design of previous VR headsets. For the Oculus Quest, you're definitely gonna need to change the strap and then you're also gonna need to change the facial interface. So these are kind of the things that you're gonna need to take into consideration. In terms of microphone, the Oculus Quest definitely has a better one than the HP Reverb G2. This is because HP have collaborated with the Windows Mixed Reality software and we need to keep waiting for Windows to come up with new patches to be able to set different settings for the microphone itself. With the HP Reverb G2, we can definitely hear some clipping sounds when using the microphone, even when it's at level one, which is the lowest setting. Compared to the Oculus Quest, the HP Reverb G2's microphone picks up more sound further away than the Oculus Quest. I always notice when I'm doing live streams that I can always hear myself flicking the buttons with the controllers, but when I used to do live streams with the Oculus Quest, I never used to hear those sounds. For the speakers, the HP Reverb G2 provides a better sound quality than the Oculus Quest, that's for sure, because they're also designed by the Valve team. However, the Oculus Quest provides more flexibility because it has an input jack where you can basically plug in some headphones directly onto the actual headset itself. But with the HP Reverb G2, we have to get some Bluetooth headphones in order to do the exact same effect if we don't want to use the speakers from the headset. 
Let's talk about compatibility. With the Oculus Quest, every time that there is an update by Facebook, it is always touch and go. For example, when you plug in your cable into the PC to go and access all the various different Steam games there, and sometimes it will be working, and then after the new update, it will stop working and you have to wait a while or you have to keep resetting your headset. So it's the same thing with the Guardian and various different areas of the actual headset itself. With PC VR, things can be a little bit more complicated because of course, when Facebook do an update to the Quest, then you know there's not gonna be any issues coming from, for example, Nvidia when they do a driver update on the PC if you're not intending to use your Quest with a PC itself. When you're using PC VR, there are other areas to take into consideration as well. For example, when Steam VR do an update, then this might also affect the performance in the actual HP Reverb D2 hardware itself. But generally speaking, I must admit that there haven't been that many bugs with the HP Reverb G2 every time that there has been an update with SteamVR or with Nvidia, but do leave a comment below if for you, you've had different experiences. Now let's talk about consistency. Well, we need to admit that when the HP Reverb D2, it was really flagged with a lot of different problems. For example, let's talk about the differences in tracking between the Oculus Quest and the HP Reverb G2. Facebook used infrared technology for the tracking, which basically means you can actually play in total darkness if you're using an infrared light. And also it's much easier to set up different lights all over the place than it is with the HP Reverb G2, who are using visible lighting technology, which basically means it needs enough light, but not too much, because it depends really on the light emitted by the LEDs on the controllers in order to know where things are going. It is said, however, that HP did provide a update very recently and the tracking has hugely, tremendously improved. However, you still cannot play in total darkness or in very low light situations by using an infrared light as you could do with the Oculus Quest. So again, the Oculus Quest here provides more flexibility. Let's not forget that in terms of flexibility with the Oculus Quest, you can play from wherever you want. For example, we did a video where we played on a plane, for example. With the HP Reverb D2, it's gonna be very difficult to do this, even if you're gonna be using a laptop. And with the Oculus Quest, let's not forget that you can purchase an extension cable if you're gonna use it with a PC very easily. So that provides even more flexibility for PC VR users. And let's not forget that Geek Godin released the virtual desktop, which basically enables anyone with an Oculus Quest to play their favorite PC VR titles completely wirelessly, as long as you have a good internet connection and also a very powerful router. If customer service is something that's a little bit more important to you, then HP are definitely gonna provide better customer service compared to Facebook. This is not purely from a personal experience point of view, but also if you go and read all the various different messages in Reddit or Facebook, for example, then you notice that HP do reply much faster to people compared to Facebook team itself. However, if privacy is something that's very important to you, then definitely go for the HP Reverb G2 because you're not gonna need a Facebook account to log in to a VR headset, nor will you lose any of your games whatsoever if you made a purchase because Facebook had been known to close down people from their Facebook accounts, rendering the Oculus Quest completely useless. Even though HP might of course be recording data about you whilst you're using virtual reality, they're not gonna use the data in the same way that Facebook will do when they're recording your activity using the Oculus Quest. Facebook own a social media which is detrimental to advertisers, which means it will use the data in order to influence your activities and also your buying habits. So in conclusion, if you want the best resolution in VR with the most immersive experience, then definitely go for the HP Reverb G2. But if you wanna go for something a little bit more portable, where you don't really mind that there aren't as many games as in the PC VR world, but you have the flexibility to do some cool stuff, for example, some VR fitness, and of course, that you don't mind having your data completely recorded all the time, or that you potentially could be losing all your games if your Facebook account is closed, then go for the Facebook Oculus Quest 2.